Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Slavik, good to see everybody. And welcome to the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right, my wonderful collectives. Let's do another reading. Whatever messages I have for you, I shall deliver it. What message do I have for you, my wonderful collectives? What messages? I have wolf. Hard medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. Or another word, let go. Cut the cord. Cut the cord. In the bottom of the deck, I have horse. It's about your free spirit. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. So let go. You know, let go. Do what makes you happy. I think this reading will be all about you. This is about your freedom you gaining you gaining that free spirit back doing things what makes you happy i think you've given enough in your past to people that never appreciated your kindness they would never appreciate your kindness okay you were like that safety net for everybody but it's time for you to concentrate and chase your dreams and do what makes you happy and most of all Cut the cords. Let go. Let go of people that serves you no good. Do not look back. What's amazing about the wolf, that wolf, um, even though wolf uh, in, in a spiritual, uh, in the animal kingdom, um, they run in packs. They often run in packs. They're very family oriented. Okay? So this is you. I think that you're a very family oriented. You're always helpful. You always stand to help other people your whole life. But very few know you for who you truly are. And I feel like recently you finally understood that, hey, maybe maybe I am the lone wolf. You know, maybe I am that alpha, alpha male or alpha female. Just because you choose to live your life as it fits your agenda and do what makes you happy, it does not make you a bad person. So this is, could be in some, for you, resonates a family situation where you often worry too much about your family members. How, what would they feel? Would, they, would I hurt them? You still uh, could love and support people even on your emotional and spiritual level. Not necessarily always doing what other people expect you to do. So once again, be free-spirited and cut off individuals that does not make you happy. In other words, um, serve yourself. Serve your higher good, highest good. It's a hard medicine. Wolf is a hard medicine. Follow your heart. Follow your heart because it is your direction in life. Be free-spirited. Now, what is the situation that you have to let go? What do you have to let go? What do you have to let go? Your fears. Fears. You're afraid. What are you afraid of? You're afraid because of the broken trust. Cheating and the broken trust. So maybe... Maybe you are afraid. Maybe you are afraid to once again start new relationship because of what happened in the past. But I can assure you that whatever happened in the past, the cheating, the betrayal, the broken trust, whether it is by your romantic partner or, or your friend or a family member, it doesn't have to happen again. History doesn't have to repeat itself again. You understand? Because this time... I feel like the road you're going to take is going to truly lead you to what your hearts desire. So it looks like you had been through, through a betrayal. Betrayal, you potentially could be afraid. I will clarify this, this card, but definitely here we have cheating. We have fears. We have broken trust. Your trust could have been broken. Uh, but once again, the advice for you is still continue on and following your heart. Do not let your fears control you or lead you. 
What is this cheating and a, and a fierce? Show me the situation. What is the situation about? What is the situation about? Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Temperance. Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Emperor, and the World. <clears throat> and we have Five of Swords. Yeah, this is most likely to do with some individual. Individual who broke your trust. Someone um, who, like I said, um, keep you in the position of stagnation, did not, did not act like a real Emperor should. Competition competed with you. You come up as a Queen of Cups. Very kind. I feel like you invested into this person. I think potentially you, you waited for this person for a very long time to come to their senses. Um, and, and that person turned out to be not what you expected this person to be. Betrayed you and broke your trust. But see, the thing is, even though you think of this individual as being an emperor, very important, special person, deep, deep down they're not. See, Cave of Swords, and here's a uh, King of Cups, and there's also Queen of Pentacles. This person acted immaturely. This uh, this person chose and potentially finances, betrayed you behind your back because there was another female involved, Queen of Pentacles. And often Queen of Pentacles have a certain strategy that they utilize. This person betrayed you because they acted immaturely. You give them way too much credit. They don't. They're not worthy even of... A 1% of the credit you have given this person. Okay? So why would you be afraid to once again follow your heart? Because you're constantly thinking that once again, you're going to meet a backstabber, traitor, cheater, and a liar. Well, it's not going to happen. This person was all along playing behind your back, cheated with some other queen of pentacles. Who is a queen of pentacles? Queen of Pentacles, so the masculine come up as a cup, she come up as a pentacle. She rules the, the relationship, okay? He's behind her. She's probably holds the business, holds the money, holds the finances, giving him opportunity. This person is not happy because, see, the another important factor, you come up as a cup and he come up as a cup. You were originally maybe meant to be together. There was a relationship built on love. But that person have chosen somebody else. That individual have chosen finances over love. So, relevantly, not your destiny. Right? Not your destiny. This individual most likely was dating somebody else. There is another female here involved. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Manipulation. They develop some sort of... Um, slander strategy have to get rid of you okay you understand not worthy of your fears not worthy of your anxiety now tell me more about this queen of pentacles that interfered in your relationship single not in a relationship we have friends well so maybe they were like a like an open relationship at first like friends, okay, friends. They, the reason why this masculine so stuck to this Queen of Pentacles over here, not by love, but by other, like I already mentioned, materialistic stability that that person have chosen, is because they have a same friends. He was influenced, influenced, okay. Maybe somebody in his group said, "Oh yeah, I'm single. We're in open relationship. Let's hook up when I feel like it." And then he himself did not realize how this female entrap him. And she did entrap him. Okay? So now he's stuck. He's stuck because there's responsibility. There's finances. He cannot get out because he's, he's literally going to walk out with, with his underwear. Okay? She's going to take everything. So it's not beneficial. But there is deeper than that. You understand? The strategy she applied is that yeah, sure, we mature, we're just going to hook up, no, no strings attached. And then she become overly obsessive. Obsessive. And she knew about you. She knew. She knew potentially that the masculine had some sort of true feelings towards you. 
And she's like, okay, well, I gotta sing something. And it's a typical narcissistic strategy. Uh, Queen of Pentacles often strategizing. Uh, they, they always develop some sort of strategy that they follow. And it most likely like there was a France influence. They were friends and they probably potentially influence other people to kind of scapegoat you, okay? Deep, and we have insecurity and low self-esteem. So this individual is very insecure, very, very insecure. Because what kind of secure individual would have, would have known that this masculine has feelings towards you and sees you and in relationship with you and yet pretended it's okay? Like it's not a big deal. Clearly it's a not normal person, right? But she acted as, yeah, we're single, no string attached. We can hook up, not a big deal. We're just buddies and friends. But deep down, you know, she's very, very insecure with a low self-esteem. She will always gonna be number two, not number one. But he have chosen her, okay? Ex lover, old spark. Yeah, because he probably been with her, been with you. And then he probably told her, listen, I'm not going to see you anymore. I meant this incredible person, which is you, my collectives. And she got enraged and pissed off. Okay. And she, she once again in, involved friends, potentially spread rumors, rumors about you to kind of get the masculine on their, on her side, because I'm sure that they have some sort of friends in common. Uh, clearly revengeful. So if you think that this story will repeat itself, no, no, absolutely not. I think you deserve to be with a person who is very strong, strong-minded, that is not get influenced by some loser friends, that is loyal. That That's the person you deserve, okay? And by the wolf card, the lone wolf, you potentially look for that person for a very long time. And by the spirit of the horse, I feel like you're ready to move forward. You're ready to move forward to find this person. Once again, put that fears away. Do not be her because she's trash. Discard it. Trash. What else can you tell me? Embarrassment. Embarrassed. This whole relationship potentially is embarrassing. All they do is gossiping about you. Other jealousy. It's so embarrassing. You know, both of them are just the clowns. Clowns. So do not be afraid of clowns. I always say, do not be afraid of clowns. Because they're a laughing joke. Okay, they're a laughing joke. They're jealous. They're envy. Everybody know that this was once again revenge revenge because this individual is so insecure you be you you be you you should not be afraid this ex karmic should be afraid but now i feel like i said everything is exposed they become a laughing stock they feel embarrassed okay they feel like trash they're angry. They're ready to ready to expose. Why? Because truth is out. Truth is out what this was all about. It was a one female who is highly insecure, obsessive with this person you were with, who wanted to seek revenge against you, to separate you, use prohibited techniques, mostly by, like I said, gossip, come up with some sort of strategy to, to destroy your reputation supposedly friends, right? Involved other people that closer to this so-called emperor, what that's what he think of himself. And uh, now everybody knows the truth. And they look like clowns. Okay, so, so why should you fear, once again, of clowns? You should be happy. You should be happy that these um, so-called insecure individuals is out of your life. You have absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Absolutely not a single thing. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. You're incredible. And um, let the cheaters go. Let this fear go. Okay? This is, won't happen again because you won't allow it to happen again. Now let's take a look. What is, uh, 
where does your spirit leading you? Where does your spirit leading you? We have dear trust. See, do you see the opposite broken trust and actually trust now? Leading you for trust. Approach the situation with light heart. Do not take it too seriously. Do not blame yourself about what happened. You could have not control um, a king of cups who by his nature is weak anyways, all over the place. There's no stability. Okay, they're like a wind. Whichever direction blows, they, they bend. Okay, uh, you don't have to blame yourself because there's somebody else who is highly insecure and developed this strategy um, of supposedly get rid of you. As I mentioned before, it truly takes obsessed individual to do what was done against you, okay? So where are you moving towards and where your spirit guides guiding you towards is once again you regaining trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in your lover. Trust that everything you do is will be accordingly to your heart and your will. You don't have to do nothing for anybody. You have to do whatever makes you happy. So you're regaining that trust. Trust. Approach the situation with light heart. <clears throat> this whole cheating, fears, it's not going to happen again. So I feel like the spirit leading you towards healing from that three of swords, that broken heart. Okay? Broken heart. You simply invested your energy into individuals who are not worthy of that. So that will not happen again. That will not happen again. Let's take a look about this trust. What is this trust about? What does the universe have planned for you? <laughs> Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups and Victory. It's a, it, it's, it's a relationship based on love, a full, fulfillment, full of cup, finding your soulmate. That cheater was not your other half. I mentioned that before. Even though at first it appeared to be like you were meant to be together. That's because you yourself were an energy of cups. Queen of cups. King of cups, right? Not ready. Not ready. Not fulfilled. Not complete yet to, to have that soulmate connection. But I feel like this is exactly what the universe is planning for you. Plus on top of that victory. So this is more feeling to me like you finally being victorious over your own inner fears. Your own inner fears that took place due to this toxic relationship in the past you've been with. The cheating, the betrayal, the lies, the manipulation, all that crap. It's done. You will be very happy. You will be very happy. And in fact, when you're going to build that new connection, that special connection that you are, like I said, um, so passionately running towards, I just feel your energy. You just want that so deeply. And that's exactly what you're going to get. That's exactly what you want to get. But you know what will be different this time that will make you not make mistake again is your strategy. Your strategy. You're going to take things slow. You're going to take things slow. You already judging by the past bad experience. You're going to read people like that. You're going to know who's who. You can pinpoint and spot a cheater right off the bat. You're going to see people right through. Because through this difficult experience and a broken heart and fear, you develop this armor, armor, that you will become immune to ever attracting such low frequency vibration individual in your life again. So regardless, you're still, you're still going to have happy family full of cups and it's going to be a relationship based on love, based on love, where you going to feel like you're in control, the magician. You're a very strong person. And this is going to be a brand new relationship. And on top of that, there will be your wish fulfillment. Whatever the individual you're dreaming of, that's who you're going to get. If you want the individual to be successful, funny, kind, happy, honorable, intelligent, 
whatever it is your checklist that must be checked, you're going to get. It's a brand new beginning where you feel in control of your own life. You're no longer going to allow fears from past experience of betrayal dictate you your future. Now you're in charge. You're in charge. And you're going to go with this night at once. It's going to happen quicker than you think. Quicker than you expect it. See? Lower's card. So you're coming out from that position of hermit. You have been, like I said, that lone wolf for quite a long time. Quite a long time. But this time, like I said, was given to you to learn. Because you had to spiritually grow to attract that connection. The true connection, the true love, right? And I don't mean to offend you in regards of your position in your past, right? Only you yourself know exactly in what type of frequency you were remaining in your past by being with these cheaters and abusers and liars. But one thing I can sure tell you now that you have gained a tremendous wisdom by spending time in isolation. Yes, it was difficult. It was a broken heart. You were in pain. But yet you matured, you grown, you learn your lessons, you gain wisdom, you gain wisdom. Therefore, by this difficult journey of the hermit, you learn how to be in charge in your own, uh, in charge of your own destiny in life. And there is a partner coming in towards you, the person that will make you happy. You will never be doubting that person. You will never going to question yourself in the back of your mind. Whether this person loyal to me. Does this person loves me? Because you're already going to know that this is your soulmate. This is your other half. You're meant to be together. This is match made in heaven. And eight of wands. It's going to happen quick. And now you're going to get a real emperor. Okay, he comes up as a king of pentacles. It could be an air sign. Uh, sorry, earth sign. <laughs> I'm sorry, earth sign. Could be. Doesn't have to be. But he, he's, he's your emperor. He's a real emperor. The one you, you knew before was, was a decoy. Okay? Like a rubber duck. A fake one. This time, you get a real one. Okay? And that individual is going to make you very happy. Very, very happy. It's going to be a relationship based on equal give and take. It's, it's your soulmate. It's a match made in heaven. I don't even need to pull any more cards because this is exactly what, uh, what you're moving towards. Okay. Your other half. Your other half. What else can you tell me about this um, connection that is coming towards you? Gratitude. You will be thankful. You will be thankful. You will thank the universe for giving you such a beautiful, abundant life. Abundance. Love. There's nothing you will lack. Nothing. I think you have suffered enough not to be happy. You deserve nothing but happiness. So, once again, whatever it is the universe given you, is, is beyond your understanding because there is nothing but abundance, abundance and gifts and blessings. And you're just going to say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for preparing me through this difficult journey to finally meet my soulmate and meet my true love because that's exactly what I wanted. And not everyone can say that. Definitely not that other woman. And that other acts of yours. But you will be able to say that. You will be able to look upon the stars and say thank you. Thank you God and thank you universe for giving me this wonderful love. This wonderful person. The other half of my heart that you have made for me. 
So you will be more than happy. And we have once again, sovereignty. Sovereignty, independence, freedom, control, power. There is nothing in anyone that could ever interfere in this relationship. Unlike any other one. Was this other queen of pentacles over there was was there her own strategy and friends and open relationship bullshit and whatever that was okay so expect expect your true love expect your other half because uh the connection i feel from this reading is incredible it's like just beautiful nothing but peace and love let's see what your guardian angels want to tell you today we have divine guidance okay you are guided there is no way you will ever miss meeting this person whether you want it or don't want it is just going to happen it's two soul divinely guided to be together and i also have divine timing once again it's going to happen in a divine timing so you may be, like I said, sad right now, but I still feel deep down, you finally start making that first steps. First steps, you're no longer looking back and, and, and feeling sad or heartbroken. You're looking forward. It's almost as this invisible divine force just leading you, leading you to do and prepare you for this special divine connection and meeting. That is about to take place in your life. And this is without doubt. This is without doubt. Power. Powerful connection. Powerful. Like I said, no one and anything in a million years will break this connection. Nothing. Let's take a look more about this true emperor this time. And king of pentacles. Very stable. We have lovers. It's your other half. It's your other half. And often King of Pentacles come up as um, mature, successful. Often husbands, like husband material, long-term relationship, stability. Stability, right? And in the bottom of the deck, I have mature man. This is going to be an honorable man, an honorable relationship. This person will honor you and you will honor... And you will honor them, him or her. There's a high level of respect and honor that you will have to this person and that person will have to you. And we have pathway. It's about journey. You taking your journey together. And on top of that income, unexpected wealthy man and privileged lady. You will be like a queen. You will have whatever you want. This individual will fulfill any of your wishes and desires. It's uh, it's an incredible connection, okay? Incredible reading. Okay, my wonderful collectives. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.